how is it even possible to start up an airliner? How can you even, how can you even think, where would you, where do you even start? Look out below! Who's that? That's my good friend, Abbas Ibn Farnas. I'm just looking at Abbas Ibn Farnas. He was an inventor from Spain and he piloted the first solar aviation flight a thousand years before the Wright brothers. And it's Abbas Ibn Farnaz who is the inspiration that's led a fellow entrepreneur, Kazi Rahman, who set up an airline after his name, uh, Farnaz Airways. I'm just jump on Kazi's plane today, Mr. Kazi. I'm here in Oxford today to go on the inauguration flight for Farnaz Airways. So today's an investor's event. He's really wanted me to come on board as an investor. I've not invested yet, but I just want to see what it's all about and really uh, understand the detail for myself. That's his plane over there, that's the purple fin. He was nervous as well when I spoke to him earlier on. Today's the pinnacle really, when everything has come together, all his hard work, all his networking. You need to know so much about this particular profession. You need to get so many different people specialised in the aviation industry. And I'm really just, I'm really feeling for him today. So now Kasi, um is an entrepreneur, like probably many of you in the room. Um, John Brayford, um, you have seen him, he's uh, spoken in front of you. I call him the Sheikh of avi Aviation. Um, the name Fernas always comes uh, from a gentleman called Abbas Ibn Fernas. He is arguably the first aviator in human history. We're ready to go, if you can all try and stay together as we're walking over. Uh, it's very windy. Don't blame the, the new airline, or the new proposed airline, on the choppiness out there. It's very, very windy. It really is very exciting to be able to, to join him for his, for his first, first kind of maiden voyage as well, so to speak. It's the first time he's been up on his own airline as well. It is a bit nerve-wracking though because it's a very small plane. In an entrepreneur's world, this, there's nothing better than this feeling now, right now, because this is, this is the real buzz. And it's extremely windy outside, so we've been told to keep our seatbelts on. It's very, very choppy, and you can actually literally feel the vibration of the engine as well. Quite literally flying Kazi's dream today. You know, this this is the man's dream, the vision. Being a bit choppy, you can tell you're on a small plane, but to actually get a plane on the runway, get it up in the air and bring it back down again and get this company started is no small thing. This initially it was hard for me to believe as well that I can do it, but I think when you have people like John, uh, mm. all the team around you, yeah. then it's not so complicated once you have this expertise at your disposal. Yeah, yeah. It's nice when entrepreneurs do something and it's kind of like give, almost like time yeah. where you give birth, isn't it, yeah. <laughs> to your <laughs> idea? But being able to actually see it for, like you said, it's, it's tangible, it's there, yeah. you can feel the play. Yeah. The struggle has been immense. Mm. It's like getting into this industry, it's a very conservative industry by nature. Yeah. And trying to um, get through is, is hard. Mm. Everyone like kind of knocks you down, like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. he's not gonna do it, he's not gonna do it. And that's the response I've always got. But yeah. today, Alhamdulillah, yes, it's just the beginning, but you know, it's, it's the beginning of something really, really yeah. amazing. So what was it about Abbas Ibn Farnas that inspired you? The risk that he was taking. He was yeah. literally like putting his life on the line. We fly on big jumbo jets, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. you know, who, who would have thought it was some um, guy from, Muslim guy from Spain yeah. you know, who actually even dared to take that first step? That, what we've just witnessed today, is, is literally what, what being an entrepreneur is about. And I guess one thing that I've learned from his presentation today and, and talking to him and talking to the others, it's all about networking, it's all about being human, it's all about relationships, how he's got really good relationships with others in the aviation industry, how he's got relationships with other major, major leading airliner CEOs, 